Let's get rolling on crude. All right, we all know that uh, it's the same setup we look for every single day. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to try to position yourself in any market. This works on all futures, all stocks. It works on currency markets. It actually works on uh, the forex also. You want to you want to try to position yourself on the opposite side of the counter trend traders. Everyone knows that our members that. I went out as a guest speaker to the Las Vegas trade show, and the traders I talked to, almost 6,000 traders, the majority of traders I talked to are counter-trend traders. All the vendors ma mainly work counter-trend systems. So we know the public's out there doing the wrong thing. We need to be on the opposite side of what everybody's doing. How can we do that, and how can we take advantage of going with the smart money or the top high-frequency traders or algorithms, hedge funds, prop firms, etc.? How can how can they tip their hand to us so we can have an advantage over our trading opponents? How we can do it is is we can buy and sell retracements when the counter trend traders enter the market. Now, how do we do it? The easy way to do it is I marked up. I have charts left to right. These templates are already set up where it's plug and play for Ninja Trader Eight. And the beautiful thing that I was able to do with Ninja Trader 8 that I could not do with Ninja Trader 7 is I was able to build a trend filter into the system where I was not able to do it. It would slow the system down with Ninja Trader 7. It would bog it down with all the filters that I have on this trend chart. I have a lot of filters on this Renko bar right here. So I was able to build a trend chart to accompany my market profile to the left. Market profile used to be just the only tool that we use to find out if we want to buy and sell which it called the high here by itself at uh, the control point right there 5305 we buy and sell that blue thick line with trend only we're trending down break retest we all know how to do that but the trend filter has added a new dimension to how I look at uh, look at markets on a daily basis because now what I can do is I can just look at that chart by itself without even market profile, without Fibonacci arrow retracements, without market delta, and I can determine right away if I'm a net buyer or net seller seller in a matter of a nano of a second. I know this morning on crude, since 5.30 this morning, they're actually a little bit before that, 5.15 this morning, you better be a net seller. You better not be a net buyer. If you're a net buyer, you deserve to get stopped out because you're going against the smart money. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to see, I got three moving averages on here. Moving averages are absolutely worthless. We know we cannot use them for crossover systems or, or, or support and resistance per se, but we can use them for trend direction. They're great for trend direction, especially on my Rinko bar. I got a, long, a, a, a larger Rinko bar here for my trend chart. It's universal in all markets. I use the same Rico bar type in all markets right across the board, except for the mini Russell, which I use as a little smaller one. What I do is, is I look for an opposite color bar to come in right here, right where my white arrow comes in. If I get an opposite color candle that closes, it tells me my trend filter is telling me that I have counter trend traders coming into the market and going against the overall trend of the market. As soon as I see that bar close green, I know that I'm going to try to position myself in the market to go short. How can I do that to an exact bar? Well, the chart to the left, these two charts left and right is market profile. This is just an added bonus that used to be for many, many years, I used it as a really big tool to find my entries. Now it's more of a secondary confirmation tool because my trend chart is going to set it up for me. It makes it more easy for me to recognize trades, okay, because I know it closed an opposite color bar. I know counter trend traders are coming in. Market profile now, I'll show you where I circled it there. It just adds extra support and resistance on a retracement. So as you can see, it caught the high here in the control point. But how can I get into the exact bar after that confirmation on market profile or without profile? how that trend chart is going to tell me to get short. The first thing that I do is if I see that it's a green bar, close green, I know that counter trend traders are coming in. And it can be green bar, green bar, green bar, all the way up until what? I want to come within a couple ticks of my SIM dots over here on a retracement. 
It doesn't have to be right on it. It could be within a couple ticks, minimum a couple ticks. It can exceed it. I just don't want a candle close above it. But just like yesterday's trade, Tuesday's trade, and Monday's trades, we've been on fire, absolutely fire in 2019 with this setup. It's the same exact setup every day because what we're going to do when it comes in within a couple ticks of the SIM dots, that's not even enough right there to pull me in yet. I want to get confirmation that this is one that we want to roll over. So what I want to see is what I like to see, and you don't have to have these uh, uh, every single time, but if I get an arrow that pops up at the swing high into the SIM dots within a couple ticks, it could be on the 3 SIM, which it fired over here in the 3 SIM 2, or the 5 SIM. Either one that fires, it gives you added bonus that you're in a Fibonacci retracement. A lot of traders know that when I first came out with the system, I had blue and red dots. Those were Fibonacci retracement dots. There's so many that printed, though, it, it sort of left a little side of error to the trader. Well, I've, I've eliminated that by only looking at arrows on a retracement after the rolling position traders have come in. And that is that are the arrows, arrows of fire this morning when it hit the symmetry dots to the, to the bar. But we're going to take it a step further. I know that I'm in a the bar the the counter trend traders in the market because of the green bar the fire. I know that I got resistance here on con the control point gives me an added bonus with trend. You don't have to have the market profile agree. It just gives you an added bonus. I know that I'm in with when, within one tick or two ticks of symmetry. It can be within two ticks. I know I'm in added resistance. I know my arrows fired on the three sim and the five sim to give me a Fibonacci area. So now I'm looking really good. But is that enough? I'm going to show you another technique, which I, I'm going to show you on February 14th at 5 o'clock on a conference call. I'm going to show you every trade by taking this technique all the way back from 7 o'clock in the morning to 2.30. I'm going to show you the percentage with the, uh, the stops. I'm going to show you a small stop with, with the first target and a second target with the trailing stop. I'm going to show you how accurate this is on February 14th. It's pretty incredibly accurate when you do these steps, which, which I'm going to show you. Now, the last entry technique, which I'm going to show you, I mean, the last thing we look at is the market delta to the bottom. I know that we are counter trend traders coming in. How can I pull myself in? The best way to pull myself in is a lot of traders love the system with the trend filter now because it tells you when the counter trend traders are coming in. But what they were having a problem with some traders is market delta was not good enough for them. Meaning it said it said negative 348 down here. Anything over 200 is a huge sell imbalance on crude. So I came up with a way saying, hey, okay, if market delta is not good for you, uh, it, because negative 348 red could come in here, and then all of a sudden it could turn back green and go back up. So I wanted a way to give traders the confidence to say, hey, I'm at the counter trend trader spot. I'm at resistance. I got the fib arrows firing, which I don't even need the fib arrows to fire. I want to get pulled in the market. Go, let me get pulled in the market and so that I could get a possible great trade here. Well, if I get a close below this small MA, I put the small MA on these templates. This was actually a squeeze play, which I'll show you on my other chart I'm running right now, which I don't show in the room. And I showed you guys how to do that. If it closes below that small MA for you room traders, that is your entry at the close of that bar. Once it closes, you close below the small MA, you are now in the market. What you can do, a lot of traders are just putting their stop just above. I put mine three ticks above the swing of that high where it pulled yourself in. Three ticks because sometimes the M tops or W bottoms, not very much, but it'll still uh, possibly keep you in the trade on M top. But the majority of traders that I'm finding are putting their stop just at the high of that bar to have a very, very small stop. So your entry is the open of this bar right there, and your stop is just above it. So you have extremely small stops now on this setup, and you know that you're pulling yourself in because you are not only got negative market delta that is firing you in the trade, you're, get, you're waiting for a close below my smaller MA to make sure the trade is rolling. So that trade right there in the open, the fill was 54.55. It got as low as 10. So right there was a $450 trade potential per one contract with a nine tick stop. Nine tick stop. So you have almost right there a four and a half, almost five to one reward to risk. So that's how we do it. Now what you can do is you can put these this MA on your own system, on your on your on your own charts. If you do that, 
you want to look for a short squeeze. Now, now, what is short squeeze or long squeeze? It's called a squeeze play. That's here. And what what you like to do is, um, you members, this template will all be set up for you already. But you can put an on my four sim Rinko, You can put a simple simple eight and a simple eighteen EMA. Now the EMAs don't work on on minute charts or share charts or even regular Rinko bars. It works excellent with my Rinko bar that I have built into the system. Because what happens is, is if I get a if I get a, a sell setup or buy setup, this is where the sell was right here. Look how adding both MAs come in. If that smaller MA comes up and it can exceed it, sometimes it comes right up to it and rides it. And then we had three trades like that yesterday, which were big trades. One happened right at crude oil inventories. That right there is your short side setup because it's squeezing together. The market's getting compression. So this, the market, was in an uptrend. It hit sim dots over here. It came down to it. Not not a big squeeze there like this. It's a tight squeeze, but still that was a long side setup. So you can use you can put this on market delta both those. I have an eight in the room that I show, an eight EMA to help you out for a close below or above. The reason I like putting two on there also is this on your own charts on my four sim Rico. I like seeing it close if you really want a real nice trade. If it closes below both of them, you really got confirmation right there that we're rolling. And you'll see that all the time on a short or, or on a squeeze play in the market. So we knew you can put that on your own charts. It's very visual. You put that on your own charts, you can see it's very visual to get in these setups. Now in the room, I just have one. You just got to close below it. The negative market delta really is a great guide for you, though, because I love delta when I get confirmation on a close. Negative 348, I get the close. That's all the confirmation you need to pop in the market. It's a very simple way how to take advantage of getting into the market. So that you can see is the counter trend traders set this trade up. If it wasn't for the counter trend traders, we cannot be retracement traders. Our goal as traders in any market is we trade retracement with trend direction. The beauty of having a trend chart now, and that's not a minute chart or a five-minute chart. They're way too lagging. You can't have a shared chart or you, you can't have a uh, the standard Rinko bar. Uh, these, these just don't work because they don't have filters built into them. All right? So you have to make sure that you use the right tools, and the right tool is when that closes opposite color candle, you're catching the wrongly positioned traders. All right? So that's the perfect setup. All, every single chart combined to make that a great setup. Market profile resistance, counter trend trader set it up, resistance on symmetry dots, you have the Fib arrows fire at that area, and then you get pulled in with a close below my MA with negative market delta. That is a complete trading system, period, to the exact bar, and I'll show you February 14th how I can actually use my algorithm and look back a whole year and two months and show you how many trades in all these markets and how accurate it is based upon that pull-in. So, you know, this is a really good way for you to look at the markets differently than you have before because now we know exactly where to pull the trigger on any given market on any given time. Now, the, remember, yesterday we had, the, we had the buy signal here. We had the buy signal there. We had a sell signal right after I talked to you guys on the mic. That called the high there also. So we had one, two, three, four back-to-back -back trades there. Sometimes the accuracy is just, is just, of this is just unbelievable. Um, you just want to make sure you stay on the right side. If you're in a downtrend, that caught the high there on, on a pull-in. It caught the high here on a pull-in. So actually here caught the low on the pull-in also, pulling yourself in. Both MA squeezed right there. It actually caught the low here. You can see the accuracy is quite remarkable with the system on each given day. And this is this week. Uh, the day before, Monday, same thing. We nailed it right there. Huge trade setup at 845. Another big one right there at 935. Another big one here at 1050. Another big one every single day. It's the same exact setup. You just got to let the trend chart, this chart, do the work for you. You got to stay on the side of this small MA. The best trades you're going to get is if you're below all three moving averages or above all three. That's your best scenario, okay? But you're finding a lot of trades when you get above my small and the intermediate and you get a retracement. That's the start of a nice little trend change.